player as well as Amazonia. It also kind of sucks because there were three Archmages easy peasy. And Ancient Isles as the last V2 for Infi is also a normal V2 for a human player yeah. since Ancient Isles is just a very bad map in general for human. So Last Refuge, a very good map for human. Twisted Meadows, a very good map for Infi as well. So I feel that uh, Focus really has to come up with something, but his manager, Happy, keeps telling me uh, he will play something special here. And I'm really, really curious. I don't really know details. I know in what kind of direction it will go. But uh, we'll see if this is really happening or if Focus is getting nervous and sticks to the standard play style. I don't think that there's anything special to be expected from him. Even though his manager is telling you this fancy stories, I don't really see it working. Infi is such a well-surrounded player. He just knows everything about the game inside out. I don't think that you really can pull something crazy out of your head and throw it at him and he not having the perfect response to it. I don't see it. Yeah, that's really the biggest strength of Infi. I feel he's not like <clears throat> the crazy micro guy. He's not like the super multitasking guy, but his confidence in his uh, strategies and how calm he can stay in... in uh, heavy pressure situations is what really makes him stand out especially on land tournaments he's not that strong recently like in wca he wasn't that good he uh lost against remind in the early stages here so uh maybe this is the chance for focus who of course uh has not won wow focus skips barracks already so he's going Whoa. without barracks on twisted meadows i guess he's playing farcia okay you are way Further ahead, like my altar just started. Okay, um, I don't. Wait, really I know. need to get another stream somewhere. Focus playing Farcia. I did not know about that. <laughs> Interesting. I haven't seen this hero in quite a while. There was one game in the Jera Cup, like round two or something, that was really entertaining, but of course not that high level. On high level Warcraft, I have I haven't seen a Farcia in like. Oh, three. we we have seen it like. Not so long ago, uh, a lot of Orc players started playing it again, especially Fly is playing it every now and then. And Focus also tried to play it in Ladder as well as in uh, the Korean tournaments. So okay. he's kind of known for it. Like, and Of course I know that, that Focus is known for his uh, Bloodlusted Wyvern shenanigans. But with a Farcia, it's going to be interesting. Late Barracks, after the tech. And of course, the obvious human creep spot here at the laboratory. What item does he get? It's not a Tome of uh, Experience, and it's uh, Boots of Quel'Thalas, so the worst drop that he can get. Wolves first, of course, from the fast here, trying to find his opponent here, splitting the wolves, getting a lot of information about the starting positions and stuff. So, did you catch up with us? Mm, I'm trying to get one of these Chinese streams working, okay. but so far, it's still loading. Okay. So if it's not working, then you're going to do uh, the analysis part, and I'm going to do the play-by-play -play like we did yesterday, I guess. So of course, Infi knows now about uh, the Farcia. I think he will be pretty happy if he sees this, but immediately building um, a tower in his base. Wow, Focus getting the last hit here on the Peasant in the main base, so this paid off already. Tier 2 is reached uh, 50%. Archmage now seeing the Farcia and the first heroes exchanging blows. Lightning versus fire. Uh, new wolves being summoned. Of course, you have to uh, keep track of your wolves. You don't want to give the experience to the opposing hero because they really give a lot of HP. And if you're in danger to losing one, I think it uh, might be better to summon new ones. But it's nice to not see a blade master once in a while. Okay, this one go went down. I think it's uh, yeah, a good way of leveling for Infi to just uh, focus on the wolves. And the second one. Oh, I guess he denied it. Yep, he summoned the new wolves. Level one and a quarter, and there's it. Level two and a half already for Infi. Of course, the huge advantage of uh, the early laboratory creep with militia support. Right now, I don't get anything done here. I cannot load any stream right now. Okay. I'm not sure why. Okay, but I... I'm in this uh, Chinese client, but the Chinese client is way behind. Okay. Oh yeah, you're you're watching the game in there. Okay. Uh, we'll see how things work, and we have a Naga second. 
the Naga 4 focus. Farseer Naga combo. It's gonna be very, very interesting. A lot of lightning coming in. Chain lightning, fork lightning. But he keeps losing the wolves and he keeps feeding the experience to Infi. I don't know if that will uh, break his back in the later stages because, of course, he will have very, very early uh, level 2 watermans. But apart from that, apart from the wolves, Infi does not get a single creep spot here on this map, except uh, the first laboratory, obviously. Oh, the Archmage in deep trouble. There is no shop for him. Focus cancelling it right now. And the tier 2 tech is kinda late. No expansion from Infi. And of course, he usually plays like the, the tower push against human. Against Orc. Uh, that works pretty well for him, but uh, not this time, not at all. Diving deep into his own base with his Archmage. There's no Fog Lightning, uh, no nothing yet. Double Beastry from Focus, most likely gonna be Mass Wyverns. But nice Grand Surround from Infi, maybe this is his comeback into this game. Lots of experience once again. Maybe you can get the second surround on the ground. Nah, it's a little too late. Oh, bad, bad um, movement from Focus, but he's still able to escape. And the Water Elemental expires just before he gets the last hit on the Wolf. So, so far, I think the early game went pretty well for the Korean. Yeah, he's every he's doing everything that he needs to do. He's just delaying tech, and when you also do the militia creeping of the laboratory, your tech is already delayed. And by the farseer with the wolves, and also putting a lot of trouble or pressure on that archmage, you just delay everything. You, he won't get up to level three, and but I'm not sure the naga is scaling really bad into the later stages of the game. As soon as you get like a mountain king out, for example, you can just bolt her down and she dies. As well as the farseer is super weak, so. I don't know, I think he needs to set up an expansion, but we see the Beastmaster already for yeah. the human player. Exactly, of course the Quill Beast is a nice uh, way to deal with the Wyverns, but I think Focus is just faking the Wyverns. He's uh, researching the Ensnare upgrade already. So this is just a little harass with the three Wyverns and then the switch, but can you play Raiders without Walkers? I don't think so. Yeah, you can get a late Spirit Lodge. Okay. Shouldn't be a problem. Okay. Like, you, you transition into Raiders because you know that maybe he's going for some Hawks and then you can easily check uh, and snare them down. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's of course the way uh, way more efficient than building bad Riders all over. Okay, the traps for Focus did not really work. The Beastmaster inside his main base, of course, uh, <coughs> Infi's goal now to tear down the burrows to keep Focus uh, su supply stuck. But the Wyverns, of course, dealing heavy damage to the Archmage now. In the meantime, he needs more repair on the second burrow. Whoa, focus on the edge of losing two burrows here. It's going to be crucial to keep the one alive. But the Archmage, I think, has to Town Portal out soon. But wow, 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 wow. One, more bow, one more hit from the Water Elemental and it's down. Nope, he keeps it alive. One burrow lost. You think it's acceptable? Yeah, for it's it's definitely acceptable. You also pull him back towards his own main base, so he has to travel the whole distance once again towards your main base. Gives you time to maybe creep your expansion. But I think he will go for a heavy creep jacking style here. But there's also no more lumber for the Orc player, so he really struggles. I think it was definitely worth it. We see your guard tower already being upgraded in the main base, so we kind of knew what is to be expected from this Farseer and Naga Harris earlier on, so the Wyvern will not do any kind of damage to the economy there. With the level 2 war element and the Cool Beast, without any dispel, I think you can easily tear these Wyvern apart. Yeah. So I'm not sure if this is paying off. Uh, so far, run. yeah, so far against the cast, it's, it's working pretty well to uh, Sorcerer's immediately being sniped. Speed scroll <coughs> being used now against the slow, another worker going down, and he will be able to escape without a significant loss in this fight. So, focus, of course, gathering strength again, but his heroes, both level 1, that is a big, big factor against the level 3 Archmage. Yeah, that's not going to work. Castles in small numbers, he can easily snipe them. But as soon as he got this uh, summons out, like two or three water elementals and three quill beasts, he will struggle real hard since he's not able to get a spirit lodge down. Because his wood is like super low yeah. and he's just down to raiders and wyvern. The base race is not going on since there's no expansion for the orc player yet, since he didn't creep like anything. I don't see this uh, yeah, going 
into like a good late game for the orc player. Yeah. But nice movement with the wyverns, catching another caster here. There's no sign of uh, no sign of a griffin aviary so far. So no shackles. He just wants to fight this with his summons in a big fight. But but focus really doesn't want to take the big fight. And so yeah, it's more like a harass style of game that focus is doing. Creep uh, creep check now at the mercenary camp. How good can this go? We are about to see. Once around on the ground, almost worked for level two. Now on the fast here, finally we have chain lightning available. Beastmaster under heavy pressure. There's nothing to save him, I guess. And Beastmaster is going down. Level up for the Naga as well. So we have chain lightning and fort lightning available. But it's a surround on the Naga. He, she's completely stuck. Can he escape somehow? He's trying to fight the way out, but no. Both second heroes down. But of course on level two, it's way way um better for Infi to kill the Naga here. In the meantime, the Wyvern did a good job cancelling all the casters left, right and center, but the Footmen are doing a great job against the Raiders as well. Yeah, but what's even more important, the Naga got the speed scroll, so if he's slowing down all the remaining units, they could be easily killed. But he, uh, he's microing his radar away in time. Yeah, I don't know. I think it, it was kind of a decent fight for Focus here, mm -hmm. killing a lot of workers, uh, killing a lot of uh, casters as well as the second hero. But the Archmage is, get, is getting closer and closer to level 4, or he, he already is level 4, I guess, so he will have like plenty of water elements. I think in the long run he definitely needs some kind of dispel, either like yeah. shamans or of course better, the better solution is uh, the spirit walkers, they take some more time, but it's definitely worth it. I, th I think he should start transitioning out of that. Yeah, how's his lumber count? Did you see that? Yeah, it's like 200 lumber, 200. he can definitely afford a spirit yeah, lodge. That's true. I'd love to see shamans here. I but I think the shamans are not that, they're not completely worth it, since you have to display like two targets. You have like this quill beast and as well as the water elementals. Most of the time they really bunch up, so spirit walkers are a lot better in general. Also the spirit link gives you some more sustainability on your wyvern, since they're pretty weak against piercing damage. That's, uh, that's absolutely true. But I was, I just want to see them because it's so rare. <laughs> Alright, more creeping from Infi, Focus continues his arrest. All over. I don't see Infi transitioning into anything here. No Griffin Aviary, no Blacksmith, nothing. So he'll just continue to play this cast style. Yeah, he just needs to bring his Beastmaster up to level 3. Then he's up to speed. He also got the Berserker. He's so strong against air units. Infi has the Town Portal now. His one Arcane Sanctum is gone. Focus playing this kind of grubby style. Diving into the base, escaping with the Speed Scroll. It's of course a lot cheaper than using a Town Portal. So he wants to drag out... Um, Oh, interesting. Double Spirit Lodge now. So he wants to dry the gold income from Infi a bit. Yeah, but double Lodge. So he has five production buildings now with only one gold mine. Yeah, I think he's getting that so that he can get walkers and their upgrade at the same yeah, time. Yeah, exactly. That's the only reason behind it. And he still stays on 50 supply. But just imagine him creeping oh. one of the expansions, yeah, the one that's super far away. Fight right now. The Wyverns once again focusing the casters immediately. Speed scroll being used. Chain lightning rocking in. Where is Fork lightning? I would love to see that lightning combo. There it is. And Infi is really struggling here, I feel. Down to 40 food. Okay, now Focus is retreating as well. It's all these little skirmishes where he does a lot of damage like right from the start and then escaping without a loss. So he performs this rather well, I think. Yeah, he's keeping the unit numbers low and this is really important for him. What Infi should do, but that he cannot do, is like creep his Beastmaster to level 3, maybe get the red spot, because it's not super strong. You can easily creep that with Footman and a few summons. And then get the Beastmaster up, because Beastmaster level 2 is kind of useless, but the Archmage is also super close to level 5, so level 3 War Elementals will be a huge deal. Mm -hmm. Kind of surprised... Or will he go for like shamans? I don't see the spirit lodge being checked by the observer so far, so I don't really know what's coming out of these things. It could be his shamans, but shamans. I'm really looking forward to see yeah. spirit walkers. I saw the sh the first shaman here. Okay. Don't. I don't think it's the right choice. Mm, uh, do you know the mana cost of perch? Yeah, so, seventy-five, I guess. Seventy-five. Okay, so it's a bit, it, it's a little cheaper than the dispel of uh, the walkers. Yeah, but you can, uh, wow, he's slowing all the creeps, so he just. <laughs> Spend a lot of mana to just dispel cre uh, to just slow creeps. Yeah, I don't understand that. The creep jack once again very good speed scroll being used again, and he saves that raider. 
Level 3 on the Farsia, so the Wolves are a little better now. But the Wyvern Control is really exceptional throughout the entire game. He's microing them close to the 120 above the Beast, forest. Kind Beastmaster of is ensnared. He's trying to save him. Oh, and swap the town pod on the last second. 10 HP remaining and getting a raider in return. Sorry to cut you off. <laughs> yeah, no problem. I didn't see that one coming. It was... Yeah, and this round, um, the Wyvern Micro. Yeah, the Wyvern Micro is microing them so well. He's splitting them apart from his main forces. But now we also see the kind of famous Infi Harris towards the main base. And yeah, I, seriously, Shamans will not do it again. Uh, they will, will not do it against level 3 War Elementals. They are not providing the damage. They don't tank as much damage as Spirit Walkers do. They don't have this passive ability. And I don't think it's going to work. The Wyvern Micro was really good so far. The hero control is good, but the shamans are not doing the trick. Yeah, that's of course uh, right. They're not magic resistant as the walkers are, so they can be slowed and everything else. Here's the first yeah, walkers can be slowed as well, but you do just take less damage. Ah, okay. Really? Yeah, yeah. But they can't be cycloned. Why can they be slowed? They they can be cycloned. No, no. That's... That changed in like 1.19 or something? But they can definitely be slowed. The slow is just varying off faster on them. Okay. Ah, okay, maybe, yeah, okay, maybe that's it. Uh, okay, Beastmaster finally level 3. We saw the first purges. Once again, focus going towards the main base. He doesn't have pillage, or I don't see it right now. Oh, yeah, this is what you were talking about, the infamous... Infi Harass, we all remember PGL, his final against Fly on Turtle Rock, where this uh, was played perfect, uh, like in a perfect way and won him uh, the map there. He's trying to break into the main base, but that doesn't really work. He forced the town portal again, slowing Infi down, and now it's four summons in Focus's main base. Can't really yeah, keep... it's not even funny. Level 2 Kirby's and level 3 water elements are wrecking Boros like nothing. Yeah, plus the Hawk with magic damage. Yeah. It's not even funny. You cannot repair against that. You just have to get like 2 or 3 walkers inside your main base yeah. that just do the trick and dispel everything that yeah. comes close to your main base. So focus is uh, should be supply stuck now. And is Infi getting ready for an experience? Pension of some sort? Nah, red spot it will be. Yeah, Infi should really set up an expansion. That would be great. Maybe get the Shredder and then set up an expansion at the red spot. Since Focus didn't expand at all, he wasn't. I think he crept one, one spot or maybe two spots the entire game. Mm -hmm. So I think Infi is in a fantastic spot here. Level 4 Beastmaster already. Yeah. Maybe getting him up to level 5, level 3 Gwilbys are just, in, just ridiculous. Yeah. Yep, I'd agree. The focus is once again coming towards the main base. No militia being called, so no expansion from Infi. I don't really know what item dropped here, but he's getting a production building again. Infi, Infi has to really likes it. to slow creeps for some reason. <laughs> yeah, maybe he has the autocast on. Great timing by focus, cancelling that building in the last possible second before it was finished. Forcing the TP again. And yeah, Infi is playing this good and the hero levels are great. But if this continues, I can see Focus winning this still in a big fight. Don't really know his hero levels though. Oh, a spell shield, nice. Yeah, spell shield is kind of nice. I don't know, I think if he got a low amount of summons, like let's say he starts a fight where he just have like one water element and one core beast, then you can easily dispel those with the shamans. Yeah. Because the mana count on them yeah. will be sick, but if you got like three water elementals Whoa. and three quill beasts... Wow, let's, let's, uh, let me interrupt you here, because once here, Focus is wiping the floor with Infi, there's no chance he loses one unit after another, after another, after another. Now Ents there on the Archmage, there's a Town Pole, there's an Invo Potion being used right now. Focus switches to the Beastmaster, and he drops so quickly, it's incredible. He's trying to defend this with uh, the summons, but yet the uh, shamans are doing an incredible defense. Dispel job. Everything is dispel with, with purge. The hawk now focused down, and everything that's left for Infi is a priest, four footmen, and his heroes. But everything is low for focus now. Nice pickups with the hawk. One raider down. Second raider down. Third raider slowed and killed. 
Yeah, this is what I mean. If you don't have the area of effect dispel, slow is just killing you as soon as the speed score wears off. You just burn out. You don't have a healing wave that is keeping your units alive. I'm not really sure if the shamans are doing the trick, but still, this was an amazing fight, killing everything there. So, yeah, the most important thing that uh, Focus has, uh, that Infi has now, is a lot of footmen. The cast account is super low. I would love to see the mana... <clears throat> On the shamans because they purged a lot here, and he's down to four wyverns, two raiders, four shamans, and now it's Infi's time to be aggressive. Of course, production of shamans is really, really quick, so there will be more purge. Here we see one. Quilby's down immediately. Wow, Beastmaster level five, and the Archmage getting closer to level six. He's just feeding him with the shamans, I guess. Yeah. It, I don't know. One more fight. I think he's not able to purge anymore because he's not really doing it. But the damage is still real. Can he get a hero focus of some sort? He only tries to get the uh, to get the what's it called summons so far. And it's GG by focus. No chance anymore. You were pointing it out. If you have to uh, focus the 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 summons all the time, there's no damage left for the rest of the army. And Infi being so close to level 6 with Mass Teleport. There's no chance for him anymore. And the game is over 1-0 for the former world champion. This was one of the worst unit compositions I've ever seen. <laughs> like, I don't understand why you would ever go. Like, he had such a huge advantage, such an edge. If you just go double barracks, spurred walker production, the game is basically over, but... Shamans, are, are, they are just too weak. I think also the hit points and the piercing damage is doing so much against them. The Spirit Walkers, you can turn them into their astral form and then they cannot be attacked by summons and water elementals. So sometimes you can dodge uh, the last bullet that would kill them. So I don't see it. Like He didn't even use like any kind of like lightning shield or anything. Lightning shield Harris on, on, the, on the feral spirits. He was not expanding. Could have expanded a long time ago. Just creep one of the expansion, go for the Harris once again, set an expansion up and win that game. Yeah, not really. The game plan was there, but not completely figured out. Okay, do you think that Focus can win Infi in a normal game? Nah, no way. No chance. Uh, he knows that he played a lot of games against TH and Leather, and he lost almost everything he told me in LAN, and he also got completely annihilated on WCA against TH. And yeah, he was like, okay, I have no chance against human, especially against TH. And TH is a good friend of Infi as we know it, and these guys share strategies a lot. So I guess Infi will just tell, or uh, TH will just tell Infi what to do to win against Focus or any kind of specialties about Focus. Also, TH told me how to win on Echo Alt, and I just did what he said, and I won easy peasy. <laughs> okay, so Focus has to play something out of the box. Do you think that's. That was his map to win here, TM, because it's not going to be that easy on LR and... and yeah, yeah, it was definitely his map. He should have won that. Also, with that early game and the great control with the Wyvern, he should have just won that. It was his bad strategical choice to go into that Shaman production. Of course, Focus uh, not that experienced in higher uh, stages of the tournament. He never won a major tournament. His biggest accomplishment is the third place in WCG 2013. Infi, of course, well, we don't have to talk about this. WCA 2014, WEC, and uh, WCG winner. So he knows exactly uh, what's going on, what, uh, how to deal with the pressure that's on you in a semi-final. The winner of this will take on 120 in the winner bracket final. So uh, let's see, one map away is Infi, two maps away is Focus, and we are here on Last Refuge. That's your key word to talk about Last Refuge now a bit. I'm trying to get the Chinese stream started. Oh, okay. <laughs> so All right, we see. And now it, fi it finally works for me. I think yeah. you're also watching the Chinese stream, so we yeah. should be at the same speed i just have to disable all this skyrocket uh, sharks streaming in my stream here <laughs> okay we see again a farcia from focus this time slightly different because he's not skipping the barracks entirely before the tech but maybe teching with one grunt is his strategy now to have at least a little map presence 
together with the look wolf. how look how cute focus looks he's so cute <laughs> yeah. like, like it's like a teddy bear in, in real life he looks even cuter yeah very handsome dude very handsome always wearing his uh, shirts buttoned up but yeah i don't understand the farcier choice i think on last refuge it's even worse like on twisted meadows you definitely have a certain strategy that can apply to the farcier where you go for the grubby kind of base rate style and then you do all kinds of stuff but on last refuge the farcier is not doing anything for you he's going for the green spot there right away i guess no he's not going for anything he just summons the first two wolves and then he runs around the map i think he wanted to dodge um the peasant that scouted the footman that scouted him so if you still think that he's up against the blade master and now he kind of sees it but i would go for the main base now since he doesn't know that there should be an arcane tower that's true <coughs> but he's following around uh, the footman uh, kind of split it from the archmate the archmate right away going towards uh, focus's base to do some to do some damage there unlucky and snare on the one wolf focus trying to get the creeps here i don't really know what's up but okay new wolf summoned and here comes uh, the main base harass from infi summon versus summon ah uh, fuck you chinese stream oh no let's go back again okay yeah i i don't know he's going for one i think one borrowed heck so if you wanted to go inside that main base and maybe cancel the second and the third borrow because you start them at the same time but so far, they're just exchanging a few blows. Maybe the next uh, water elemental uh, or the next wolf is going to die. If he kills one or two more wolves, I guess he should be level two. Uh, it's rather two than one. If he really needs that level two. Yeah, the aura, of course, uh, super important to get more water elementals out, to get more damage, whatever. But, yeah, so far, nothing happening. Of course, he prevents the Archmage from reaching level three. That is a big deal. I think boots for the Archmage here. Since it's just yeah, just and I think he killed one of the wolves as well. Maybe they I'm not sure who, the who did he practice with these strategies? It is like, did he practice with Reprisal? I have no idea because no. he's not practicing with the Chinese players. Uh, focus uh, practice with Email Fan. Ah, okay. Yeah, Email Fan is, is a really good player to practice with. But it's still not the same kind of level that Infi is on. No, never. That's, uh, of course, the big problem. He did, he did not want to practice with the Chinese guys because he didn't trust them. Uh, ah, you can trust Yumiko, I guess. Well, y Yumiko's not there. Ah, uh, yeah, true. It's only email fans, TH and Infi, as humans. And Romantic, of course, but... <laughs> romantic. Oh, yeah, definitely a practice with Romantic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the Archmage is kind of stuck, and once again we see the Naga to pick up uh, some units and have that double forward combo. Yeah, but without the boots of speed on the naga i think you should get boots of speed early game on your fast here as well and then transition or give them to the naga to kill the footman because it's really important to kill the first units here if you kill all the footmen from the human player he will be on a tier two with just caster and then your piercing damage hits a lot harder and he is scouting what uh, focus is building i only saw one beast tree i don't know if that's a lot this <coughs> time or is he going double beast tree again uh, we'll two about. wolves will feed more experience Yep. Now the two runs are coming and immediately being ensnared by the creeps. But he still has to retreat since his forces are just too low HP. So it's double beastery again. I think uh, he scouted luck. both. Good luck with that, Mr. Focus. <laughs> well, of course, uh, we all know that one game that you lost against Fly <laughs> where you didn't scout uh, the second beastery, but I think... Sin ah, well, the footman... Should <coughs> have seen both of them. Pressure from Focus now, getting that one passant, or will Infi be able... Or he gets, maybe he gets the Archmage, he's trapped, and he gets the Archmage! No Town Portal! It was still level 1 though, right? Yeah, it was level 1. So not the biggest of deals, but here comes the Mountain King getting the revenge kill with the Grand Militia being called. But that's a nice uh, little experience for Focus here, and that's what he needs for his level 2 wolves and whatever, cancelling the shop as well. Yeah, definitely a good catch there, but also the town portal inside that main base would have costed him like a shit lot of time to get him out and heal him up. So letting that Archmage die in the first place looks kind of stupid and retarded, but in the long run it's definitely worth it since it's super low HP, Archmage is, not, is worth nothing. Mountain King cannot do shit, the militias try to fight the Grunt. Maybe there's, there, no, there's the slow. With a few more militias, he could easily kill the Naga if he wants to. 
The Archmage, Archmage is out. back on the battlefield. First Wyver appearing as well. Focus got a few uh, pickups here with uh, the Passants, but he's losing two grunts in return. And more and more and more experience from the Wolves. And now it's time oh, to get the, the Naga. Guy. Yeah, Town Portal being swapped and the Naga escapes. It was so fucking smart. He could have bolted the grunt earlier, right? He could have killed that one a lot earlier, but he wanted to keep the grunt alive. He was super low HP, but he knew that when the Archmage comes out, he will be level 1, so... He wanted to keep the grunt alive until the Archmage pops out of the altar, then kill it off to finally have that level 2. This is, like, so smart. Really ah, well done by Interesting. Me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well well uh, thought, my friend. This is, of course, why we have an expert next to me, because I would never, never catch those things. This was amazing. <laughs> yeah, maybe uh, the Infi of 2014 slowly coming back. But yeah, he doesn't have a shop. I don't really know about his production buildings. Okay, there's Double Arcane Sanctum. But now here are Wyverns in the base of uh, Infi, and he lost a lot of workers, but still... Okay, he has lumber problems. He has severe lumber problems. Only 31 available. And I think this harass so far, well, the fight did go okay for focus, but the harass is what really shines out. Yeah, and you really need to do that. You really need to do that. As long as the Archmage is level 2, he's kind of like, he's not that great. Level 1 water elements are not doing the trick against Wyvern. But Mountain King in the late game, you know it. This guy is just wrecking both of the intelligent heroes apart when yeah. it comes down to it late game. When the Mountain King hits level 3 or level 5, you can just say this game is over. Whatever happens on the screen, he would just bolt down two of the heroes. Yeah, not only the heroes, but of course the Wyverns are pretty squishy themselves. So he can easily bolt them, stun them for a while and follow it up with uh, some damage of the water limit. And if he's going shamans one more time, he's just throwing that game as well. Because shamans are even worse against the Mountain King. If he gets like clap, for example, if you just run in and clap all the shamans, they just fall apart completely. Okay, we'll see about that so far. No lodge. He got the first <coughs> raider with end snare, of course. Nice cancellation on the healing or the mana regeneration here. Wow, and we see the first hawk. Okay. But we already have raiders on the field. So you have to wait for your shackles. Because you, when you get ensnared, you can still shackle from the ground, but if your shackle is cancelled, it's on cooldown. Ah. Infi really wants to fight this now, p pulling the militia. And focus running away. I don't know if there's a uh, speed scroll for him. First hawk is down, second hawk has to cancel the shackle. Speed scroll being used now to dive in with the wyverns, getting that second hawk, but fails in the end. Yeah, very offensive speed scroll. He really needs to... Sometimes you just need two speed scrolls. I have seen Orc players, when they play Farsia Naga or Farsia Dark Ranger, what, that was more popular. And then you get like two shops to get two speed scrolls. One for the f just run in and the other one to get out again. Okay. So I've seen that in the past and it was really cool to see. Yeah, the speed scroll is super cheap so you can easily afford it. Focus just, just creep a little bit and chill. <laughs> Yeah, but this level level two on the fast here, I think still level one on the Naga. And he's breaking upkeep already. He's up to fifty seven supply. He really wants to end this game now, but once again he has nothing against the slow. We and there's no more speed for. scroll, no more town portal. Exactly. If he's losing that radar, he cannot cancel the shackles anymore. Uh, okay, he's losing that one. Yep, and here comes the shackle. First one thrown in where the uh, second and third ones not being called yet. Okay, here's the second one, third one. Cancelled by the end snare. Two raiders yeah, in the right. battlefield. The Naga is in problems here. The Wyverns are falling. Level up for the Archmage. This is looking great for Infi. One Orc unit after another down. Only corpses on the ground. Level 3 for the MK. Another raider yeah. being blocked by the Water Elemental. Tremendous play by Infi. Cool idea by Focus, but <laughs> it's just a cool idea in your head. It's not going to work. <laughs> There's too many like missing pieces to this strategy. He's not expanding on top of it. He's not getting the dual spirit lodge to like get into like any kind of dispel. Farsia and Naga, especially the Naga, scaling really bad into the later stages. We can see it. Level three Archmage, level three Mountain King, a lot stronger. Even if you have like equal hero levels, level three Naga, level three Farsia, and not doing the trick. You have a few priests, they will just dispel the level 2 wolves. If you get level 2 chain lightning, uh, sometimes it can be it, it can look cool on the screen, but it's not so efficient. 
And overall, the hawk control was great. Also, just letting the orc burn out, slow him down, wait for him to approach for the next fight, and just be in a fantastic spot. He's using clarity potions all over the place on his Archmage so that he just gets the mana regeneration to have two or three water elements at the same time. It's so smart, so well played by Infi. And this kind of gimmick strategies that also Foggy is kind of famous for, you can see how well Chinese human player respond to that. Yeah. Focus is trying it again, but what's it worth? We'll see about that. Only two uh, Wyverns available. We see Chain Lightning, the first Shackle. There are no bad riders, <coughs> nothing. It can only cancel it with the Raiders. Trying it now, but the Raiders are all down. Here it comes, one down. Second one about to fall. And the Wyverns getting teared apart by all the Water Elementals. Uh, double level up now, level 3 and level 2 on the Orc heroes, can he get a hero kill of some sort? It's trying it, and snare, mass right click here, but oh, Stormbolt on the Farsi, and that's about it! First hero down, and what can he accomplish without him? The Naga level 3, almost surrounded here, but Town Portal out by Infi to get a better um, positioning here. And that's the GG, Focus losing it clean, 2-0, and Infi... Once again, no sign of an emotion. This is just a daily routine for him. And Folk is still smiling, okay. Folk is like, I thought it's much better. What, <laughs> yeah. what the fuck? What the fuck? Imal, you said it's a good strategy. <laughs> I did beat you. Why not him? Yeah, why not him? Why are you so good luck? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Okay, uh, of course, Focus not eliminated from the tournament, just being thrown down to the loser's bracket where he will meet Moon, maybe? I don't know. You should know. Yeah, I should know, but I don't really know how they uh, how they cross the brackets. Such noob. Such noob! Maybe we'll see a nice graphics uh, from this. Maybe on that upcoming side that you are planning on, we <laughs> will have... Already a secret. Yeah, we. I think uh, we would have, but where's the, the bracket? Somewhere on the DZ page. Okay, there's the bracket coming. Um, we have 120 versus Infi as the winner bracket final. Undead versus Human, and we have Focus versus Moon and Remind versus Fly. <laughs> goodbye, Remind. Goodbye. <laughs> well, Sushi she was able to take a map from him. Yeah, but Remind is not doing anything against Fly. <laughs> well, we will see. Yeah. My bet for the entire tournament right now is Infi winning that easy peasy. I don't think there's anyone that can beat him anymore. 120 is not strong enough to beat Infi. Uh, we have seen it on WCA. He was underperforming. And also the Chinese people just figured out how to deal with 120. I remember TH completely annihilating him. I also remember Yumiko playing out of his mind yeah. uh, against T uh, 120. And he was pretty strong on that ladder run against all the Chinese human player, But offline, nah, not going to happen. Well, he's gathering offline experience. He's getting used to the feeling. And of course, with 18 or 19 years old, uh, he might be struggling with the pressure. But... There's basically not that much pressure for him, right? If he loses, okay, he's uh, being thrown down to the loser bracket. Will most likely meet Fly in the consolation final. But uh, yeah, that's yeah. He he should be happy with second place in the end of the tournament. Yeah, and he's always up for a surprise. We'll see how things turn out. Okay, the upcoming games for the NetEase for the Gold Championship Series is 120 versus Infi winner bracket final and loser bracket semi-final is uh, Focus versus Moon, Remind versus Fly. Some nice Warcraft to look forward to in the next upcoming days and weeks.